All right, guys, less than two weeks left. Now is your chance to get entered to win this badass hot rod. It is a double entry day today. So every dollar you spend on LSNasty.com gets you two entries to win this 650 horsepower nitrous fed beast. We got some new merchandise up on the website as well, so you guys can check it out. We'll race for cash. If you guys win this thing, I assume you guys are gonna make a lot of cash racing, especially if it's anything with four doors. 650 horsepower, RC components wearing, slicks. So you can run it in the street if you want to. I'm not gonna advise street racing, but if you wanna go out there and crack someone's skull, you are set up for it. Two 10 pound nitrous bottles, it's got C16 and the standalone nitrous system. You get a five gallon pail of C16. You guys will be ready to race when you pick this up, drive it home, take it to the track, whatever you want to do. LSNasty.com, first link in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. They were perfectly squared. Yeah. Boy! I am back! What it do, baby? Boy! I'm, I'm most happy about Would that Would you right look there. at this? All right, guys, we have a, I don't know when the last time I've done just a straight up unboxing video, but I'm excited. We got some badass stuff in here. Matt, where's your knife so we can open this up? Mm. <laughs> you talk better on camera? Yeah, I've lost my microtech knife somewhere all right guys we have been busy working on the shop and i need to order some parts so now i get to what is this uh, this is some satisfaction from our week's worth of hard work we have a lot of fabrication builds going on right now obviously colorado we have to do turbo kit on eddie murphy we have to do zoomies on the Glizzard when it gets back. I am never gonna financially recover from this. So we be steady ordering stuff from Race Part Solutions, TISS Fab, Stainless Bros, and they always get us stuff really quick. So, very excited about all this stuff right here. All right, so we made a change from the three inch to the three and a half inch. We also made a thickness change. That's still pretty thick. That still is pretty thick. Thick boy. Yeah, we had 11 gauge on the other stuff on the three inch, which is fine. I would prefer to do 11, 11 gauge because it's a little bit easier to weld a little bit thicker, but this is 16 gauge, three and a half, and I think it's just gonna make it appear a whole lot. Listen, we're trying to make 4,000 horsepower. The three inch charge pipe wasn't really doing it. That looks a whole lot healthier, doesn't it? Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. Looks a whole lot healthier. And we were able to simplify it a little bit. So we got some 45s. We got some 90s. Three and a half inch. God, three and a half inch looks substantially larger than three inch. Mm -hmm. I mean, about, by about half an inch. Yeah, that half inch will go a long way. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Michael, please. There he is. Please. There he is. I don't even know what this is. Oh, we got new V bands for the three and a half inch for the charge pipe. So obviously we weren't, we weren't gonna run a reducer backwards. So now right off the turbo, it'll go right here. Okay. That looks three, a lot better. Three and a half inch, yeah, don't reduce it. And then what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna try to come in at an angle here. So we're gonna have our Y right off there, which very cool upgrade with the little merge. The dual seal style clamp, if you guys are familiar with them, they are, very nice, but you would have to weld the dual seal on there. This one is a four inch to dual three and a half inch with the dual seal CNC'd into it, which is very nice. So now Dang. you can slap this guy right up here. No welding needed. A little bit shorter. Clamp it on, 
gives us a little bit more room because this three and a half is, is pretty thick. So before the charge pipe was coming up and going flat and it was close to the hood, but we're gonna try to angle it and have it come in at an angle like that, be a little bit more sleek looking with a bigger tubing. It, uh, it should just be a couple small bends, not really much straight, if any, and then we'll be good to go. But very nice from the guys at Race Part Solutions. Everything's all countersunk in here, so when you stick this in there, it's like money. Good fit up for welding. Yeah, look at that right there. Look at that. How? This is nice. This is nice. And it's very smooth in there. Look at that one. Look at that. Matt's big on this. If there's like any like sharp edges on the inside, look at that. That's pretty nice. Good for airflow. Yep, I like it. All right, so that's all our stuff from Race Park Solutions. David, per request. Sorry, I'm, I'm all charged up right now. Per request, we got some bug zappers because sometimes we'll be filming a video and a fly will come in here, it'll just hit you on the cheek and you're like, the hell turbo is that? Video. The Turbo Smart video? Yeah, the Turbo Smart video might have been a little shaky here Dude, and there from the getting It attack. is like, we don't have any fans on right now. It is like 10,000 degrees in here. So shout out to Amazon for the $20 bug zapper. Great reviews. Yeah, great. Highest reviews out there. Alright, this is what I'm excited about. Don't it's worry, time. Ava. It's okay. It's okay. It is time. <laughs> Excitement levels unreal. Circle D converter for the big block. This thing right here, Pete over at Circle D, absolutely hooking it up. He always takes care of us. We're running a number of his converters. Matt just got a Circle D for MK Ultra. I got a Circle D coming for the Glizzard, but this is something special here. This is a 11 inch. Oh, look at this. Look at all the goodies. All right, first off, before we even get into the box, I wanna talk about this. It is a bolt together converter. I've had a number of bolt together converters. Not often do they come with O-rings. Yep. This is very, very nice. This is very thoughtful. They know it's a bolt together converter. You're gonna be taking it apart. You can reuse the O-rings, but you know, sometimes you take them apart and you're like, yeah, probably don't wanna reuse it and you don't have one. If you're at the track and your O-ring is messed up and you don't have any, you're screwed. Now I got some nice shirts for dinner. Look at this, going to dinner tonight. Oh, this is a good looking shirt. Mm. He that Circle D hooked it up. Uh, some behind the scenes story here. Matt got his Circle D converter before I did and he got a care package. So I was a little angry and I said, I wasn't angry. I was like, Pete, if I see you, we're fighting because Matt got a care package at his shop and we don't film or do nothing up at his shop. And he's like, oh, don't worry, I got you covered. So shout out to Pete for making sure we have our swag. They give you hardware for it, which is very nice. And what the, I forgot to use this on Pete's last converter and beat it all up. But Pete, I can promise you we're gonna keep this thing in one piece. All right, enough Let's of this. Let's talk about that pin right there. Dang. Dude. Can't write, wait to write a check on that thing. <laughs> oh my God. All right, here we Just go. Just like that is The going. moment of truth. Woo! Damn it, boy. Oof. Look at that. Good goodness. Look at, would you guys just look at it? All right, this is what I really like about these converters here. The interchangeability of the pads here, depending on your mid plate thickness. Also the pilot, you can take that out and put a different one in there. We actually repurposed a converter and, oh look at this, it's, it's damn dude, this is nice, they're all the way through. Yep, looks like it's got time certs in there. Yeah, it does. So way better than helical. Yeah, the pads um, definitely the way to do because if you guys have ever done it and you've had to put a bunch of washers in here and you got six of them and holding the washers in there and getting the bolts in there, it can be a pain in the ass. Especially if you're at the track trying to do something real quick, dropping those washers, losing them. If you do this, you can get different thickness on the pads. You just call them up and say, hey, you know, I need these thicknesses. They probably might have sent some extra ones. And uh, you swap those bad boys out, no more washers. Dude, this thing right here is Ooh, it bad. says LS nasty on Bad to the bone. Where does it say LS nasty? What are you talking about? Your right hand. Oh, Ooh. whoo! Whoo! Someone right here, I'm going to tell you this, especially if you live in the state of Florida, this thing right here is going to drive around you. Ooh. It might make you sell it. I'm just saying, I, I ain't trying to be rude, or, but I'm just saying, like, the entire state of Florida is on notice with this thing right here. I might take this, if I go to Florida, I'm gonna have to put a lock on this because you guys are gonna be trying to take it out of the car because you're gonna just hope I can't run, but God dang, that sucker is nice, dude. 
I love a nice converter. Converters, they're expensive. They're very, very important. If you have a good one with your setup, it will make you very, very competitive. If you have a bad one with your setup, it makes you very not competitive. Oh, make or break the program. The converter is... One of the most important pieces to the yeah. puzzle. Dealing with Pete over at Circle D is extremely, extremely easy. Any changes we need, if we need stators, if we need other parts, pow, you have them. Oh Instantly. yeah, no, that's, um, so they sent me, they really worked hard um, to get my converter for MKUltra. I mean, it, it's great customer service there. Got it to me, shipped it overnight. That, the night before I hurt the transmission. Brakes there. transmission, changes to 400. Input size changes. Every Converter time. is useless. Yeah, so I called. I was like, hey, man, I know you guys overnighted it, but I need to change it. Sent it back, and I already got it back again. They went through and uh, changed the front pump for the turbo 400. Are you paying him off or something? Because I feel like you're getting a little preferential treatment over me. You know, Pete, I'm talking to you. I don't know what you guys got Pete. going on. I don't know what you guys got going on, but, you know. He just knows I love the D. Ha! <laughs> Gay! Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 my god oh all i can say is the entire state of florida we're about to give you the d when we go down there <laughs> you're getting the d the raw dog is giving it to you uh, all right we also got a box here from oh. from circle d the banner yeah so he sent me the banner because he knew that i'd be hanging in the winter circle oh okay well he must have known we'd be doing the same thing here too matt actually took his to the hospital with him <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Hey, we need to send another banner. This one got ripped back. Look at this. Look Woo! at that. Here, you're gonna have to roll your way over there so we can uh, unveil this thing. And we just, oh, I know the perfect spot for it, David. We I just started hanging these up. Very nice. Dang, that's a banner. That is a banner. That is a banner. Hell yeah. So shout out to Pete and all the guys over at Circle D. It's a big operation. They make a bunch of really badass stuff. They're, I'd say they're really, really getting into the hardcore race converters or before. Would you say before they were mainly more of like a stock style transmission, late model stuff? Yeah, I guess they were really known for their uh, drag racing bolt together converters. But um, I, I'm very confident um, with the, the knowledge that Pete has and the manufacturing facility of Circle D. I think it's a great partnership between them. And from, from what I've talked with Pete, they also have some stuff coming out that we're going to be doing some testing. He's sending me a, a air foil stator, so if you guys know anything about air foils, I'm very interested in it. Uh, we're going to do some testing on it, some data, uh, you know, maybe try to optimize that stator combo, and I'm really excited to uh, see if we can go really, really fast with um, that new Matt's new a nerd. Matt's so. a nerd. Matt's like, oh, science? I love it. Me, I'm like, mile an hour? I love it. And I know with this thing, we're gonna go fast. So uh, that's a little bit different than uh, some of the other stuff, the 11 inch uh, badass billet bolt together. Yeah, it, no, it looks, it looks awesome. Um, very, very good quality, uh, everything about it. So. And, and you know, to the customer service, um, you know, that goes goes a long ways in a lot of the stuff. You know, it gets back to like in the last video we talked about, you know, these people aren't just like, hey, run this and we're gonna give it to you and everything. If it wasn't any good, they could give it to us, they could pay us to run it, and we're not gonna run it. Well, also, if we did run it. it and it wasn't any good, we would never win. Yeah. And we won like 13 times last year. We went, increased our wins from previous year 1,300%. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. So we're gonna see if we can just, if we can keep that pace, we'll be all right. But yeah. we gotta hang this banner up. Uh, we got to uh, install a converter. We got to pull motor out, put an oil pan in there. We got a lot of work going on next week, and uh, I think it's gonna be badass. So thank you guys so much for watching. Big shout out to Circle D and everybody over there. Big shout out to whoever the hell makes those bug zappers and uh, Wade at Race Part Solutions. They made this video possible by sending us stuff in an adequate, timely manner so we can film it and bring it to you guys. That's, that's saying a lot nowadays. <clears throat> made in China. China, that's why. Look this bad boy. Wow, this thing looks so cheap. Looks like it's gonna zap some bugs to me. Oh, it's got a, a bug tray. Like an ashtray. We just bug. leave that out so they just fall down to the ground. Hell yeah. Alright. Dude, I'm sweating, dude. This is a second video in a row. No fans on in this thing. We gotta turn the fans off to film because they make noise and they mess up the mic. Dude, there's zero circulation in this thing. It is hotter than a $2 steak. David's trying so hard not to laugh. He's chuckling right. right now. Tougher. 
no hotter because I you I imagine you just burn your shit out of a two dollar steak. <laughs> yeah, it's tough too. Like, I think it's like, like it's like well done. Like well. Like well if you're done. eating your steak well done, just get the chicken. Seriously, if it ain't got a warm pink center, I don't want it. 